I did that for a while. Um, uh, Gene McCall and I went down there. Uh -huh. and this is a Super Chaos, an original Brighty kit from probably the mid 70s. I bought it at a swap meet. A guy set up a table that end of the parking lot. Had a bunch of nice kits out. I bought it back then. It took about nine months to build. It was a bitch to build. It was a lousy kit. Some of the leading edge wing sheeting was like a two by four, but I per persevered, got it done. Uh, the engine's a 1970 Webra 61 Blackhead with a very hard to find original muffler. It's all monocoat. That's it. Alrighty. What year was this kit coming out? In? It's 70s? probably probably early seventies. Yeah. Because his later kits were better. <coughs> this was no fun. <laughs> so. All right. Next up is Darren oh, Brooks. Hold it.
figured out how to do my winged fillets. I think I finally got my, my winged fillets uh, perfected. Modified the cheek cowls and everything. For power, it's got an old Royal 46, so 80s era. Kind of like this airplane. Uh, came out a little heavy at five and a half pounds because I wasn't real careful about the selection on balsa. Uh, it's handed in butyrate for color. Because the butyrate won't take nitro, but I used epoxy clear over the top of that. And uh, this pilot here <laughs> was given to me by Jerry Scotchless. So we were kind of kindred spirits. We were racing at the same time in the 90s. And this was, he came over to the house shortly before he passed. But I didn't want to cut it up, so I just have it placed there. But it's kind of a memento from Jerry, and uh, we'll see how it does. All right. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it up a second. Yeah. Okay. Cowling, uh, cowling wheel pants, are they fiberglass? The uh, cheek cowls are fiberglass and I modified from a Mustang, a Sig Mustang 450 kit. Nice. This was a Sig Mustang 450 uh, canopy as well. And then I found the landing gear in the garbage at my old club. <laughs> so I pulled them out of the garbage and I painted them and then polished them and put them on the coyote. Model Works uh, kit. It's called a Howard Pete. It's based off of a 1930 racer. Uh, it has a Cobra motor, four cell battery, and uh, Randy had this kit and he decided he didn't know how to build. So he gave it to me and he said, You do it. So, anyway, this was a freebie to start with, but it's got a lot of hours in it.
RCM Funster. The original <clears throat> came out around eight, 1982. And then this is actually a 20 size, believe it or not. Is, this one is blue with an OS 25 engine. I converted it to electric. I had no idea what size of the motor to be. I started with a small motor, and then when I finally got it close to being done, when I boxed it all up, it needed more nose weight, so I thought, well, why, you know, why add weight? I just put a bigger motor and then went to a four cell battery. But uh, I built this one, I downloaded the plants online and, and uh, traced and then laser cut everything out. And I modified it a little bit. I, I increased the size of the control surfaces. Um, I took most of the plywood out of it because the, the entire uh, fuselage side were, they were originally plywood and they had numbers on the inside. So it came out to about four and a half pounds. I think the name Funster says it all because the, the original that I had built the 40 size back in the 80s that was kitted. This one's not kitted, but the, uh, the 40 size was kitted. And with about an 8 to 10 mile an hour wind, you could actually put the flaps down, get it on the runway. You could, you could take off like a helicopter and it would, it would fly backwards. <laughs> there were two or three of us that the, the first guy that built his, we came out one day and, and we're watching him fly backwards. And, uh, the rest of it was like, oh, we got to get one of those. So that's <laughs> and, uh, it, it's fun. That's why they named it the Bunch Station. It's cool.